Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Busy day for me in the kitchen today, in this pot, and I wish you could, you could, you could just get just the tiniest little whiff of this. It smells amazing. It is an old family recipe for barbecue sauce. It originates um, from my family in-laws from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, this is Grammy's recipe. Uh, you can find that in another video. I don't know if it's already out or if it's coming out next week or if it came out last week. Check back on our channel. Today though, we're making macaroni pie. Um, and this is a recipe that I keep playing with because I just can't, I get close. I've got a benchmark that I'm trying to meet and I don't know that I'm ever gonna get there, but I keep blundering around and every time I make it, it's fantastic no matter what I do. I'm trying to make one as good as the one um, that Chef Craig Wong makes at Patois. Patois is a restaurant here in Toronto. Um, Chinese Jamaican fusion food, absolutely incredible. And his macaroni pie is great. So in this pot, I've got already cooked pasta and I'm using, these are zitoni and they're a big long tube. I usually use a uh, macaroni that I get from Trinidad. Again, big long tube, couldn't find it this week. So I put that in there, it's cooked, it's drained and I just put some butter in and the butter's gonna melt in around the pasta. Now we're gonna make the sauce that goes with it. And we're gonna start out with some evaporated milk. So, can of evaporated milk. And then I'm gonna add some cream just to bring us up to the two cup mark. There we go. To that, I'm gonna add one chopped Scotch bonnet pepper, dry garlic, dry mustard, white pepper, and two eggs. And we'll give that a whisk. To that, I'm gonna add a squirt of ketchup. You know you're gonna put ketchup on it later, so you might as well put some in it. And so I put in the garlic powder. Normally I would put onion powder in this as well. Went through the, the cupboard today and I didn't have any onion powder. But there's so much else going on, I don't know if we're gonna miss it that much. Next in is Trinidadian green seasoning. Um, don't overthink it, it's just called green seasoning. Uh, here on the shelves of the grocery stores, there's probably four or five different brands. They all have about the same ingredient list. Uh, this one's not going to come out. Brand new bottle. Okay, so let's, let's get a couple of scoops out there. Let's say that's about enough. And we'll mix that in. Okay, that's mixed up really nice. Now, in here, I've got grated cheese. I have tried... Tons of different combinations. I have been happy with all of the combinations. Doesn't matter what cheese I use, it's great. Today I'm using, this is a white cheddar, an old cheddar, and uh, mozzarella. And this is, you know, your standard, harder, North American pizza mozzarella. Um, it doesn't bring a lot of flavor, but it brings a nice gooey elasticity. So I'll just grate the last of those. Okay. Now it's just assembly time. Okay, nice deep pan here. Into the pan goes the macaroni. And I try to get them all in here straight, which is sometimes impossible, but I do my best. I really do. Um, I try to get them all in, in order because it gives a really nice presentation later. Okay, first layer is in. In goes some sauce. The idea is that the sauce, it's really a, it'll be a custard really, because it's egg and milk, should get into all of those tubes. And then on with some of the cheese. And then you know how layers work, so you just keep layering it. Um, I will probably get two, maybe three layers of pasta in this pan with the amount of ingredients that I have. So, 
You don't need to see that. I think I'll edit this and skip forward to the next step. Okay, last of the cheese on top. Let's give that a bit of a press down, make sure it's all in there. I'm gonna put a lid on. And the oven's preheated to 350, lid on 25, 30 minutes. Take the lid off for the last 15 to let the cheese brown up. Hey, hey Jules. Hey, friends. What we got going here? Mac pie. Oh, where did those giant noodles come from? Oh. Where did you find giant noodles like that? Oh my. That's... <laughs> You're looking at a pro here. I know, I know, but it's like, oh, I didn't see those come in the house. Where are you been hiding those? I was hiding them in the basement in my equipment room. Uh, ha -ha. Didn't put them in the in the regular. Okay, so I don't know if I let this sit long enough. It's still a little bit on the... Extra gooey? On the extra gooey hot side. You're gonna get a great cheese pull? Let's see, cheese... No, 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 just okay. a mess. <laughs> in the way that Mac is. Tomorrow, tomorrow when it cools down, you'll get a really nice, look at that. Look at that. Oh, the, oh. Look at that, it's beautiful. He's got them all in a nice layer. There's like all these little O's from the side. So the thumbnail picture, I will cut that tomorrow when it's cool mm. and I can keep everything nice and compact and. All right. Oh, you told them of the crunchy bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheesy. Custardy, creamy. Mm. That's pretty good. <clears throat> mm. That's pretty good. Okay, if you've never, if you have never experienced green seasoning, mm. if you've never experienced electric green seasoning. Yeah, green sauce. Green spice, sorry, green spice. You gotta try that. You've, you've gotta mm. try that. Okay. We're just gonna keep nodding. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming since from that reference, there's green seasoning inside. That's what's giving it all the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. So I mentioned earlier that I had, I didn't have any onion powder. I couldn't find it. I thought we had some. You don't miss it. I'm sure we have yeah. it, but that's okay. We don't miss it. That adds so much flavor. Yeah. Yeah, green spice. I'm working. Who's calling? Duct cleaning. Oh. <laughs> Duct cleaning. Okay. So, this is fantastic. I think the really big noodles with the giant hole makes it fun. I really like the custard because it makes it a different, makes it a different texture. It's a different texture. Than, than, a, than a mac and cheese. And that would explain why we didn't get the full yeah. cheese pull because yeah. of the custard. I like the texture. I would add a little bit more bite to it. Oh, mm. I, I got a bit with, with I got a, I got. Oh, I did not. Okay, so I just didn't get the right bite. So, so the, the bite that I had had a whole bunch of uh, of Scotch bonnet pepper <laughs> stuck in it. So okay. I got some of that. Um, yeah, but you you could you could spice it up a little bit. You could you could really. The idea though, this is a foil to the other stuff on the plate, right? So yeah. You're having jerk chicken, or you're having something like that, and this just kind of works for Glenn. Works for me. <laughs> I like it too. <laughs> and if and if you want a really good example of this, and you find yourself in Toronto, go to Patois. Oh yes. Yes. There, theirs is fantastic. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.